Right, grab that. This is no shout out to Red Bull or anything, but we are going to need this today. That one, that one. Lovely. Into the freezing cold English weather. Lock that. Shout out. Shout out. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rocking FYD. Oh, he's even rocking JW Watch. Hello. What a lap. Oh, roads full of them. Look at this. Just check the exhaust. Josh has just put an exhaust on this thing. Proper. Still in love with this thing. Right, anyway. Today is a wet and windy day in the UK and we are gonna go and see what Josh is up to. I can hear a revving SR20. That's about as much as I can hear or see. This is windy, my hair is a mess. We're gonna go and see the lads. Lovely cul-de-sac, lovely little uh, street list. We've got an SR20 giving it the big one. Down the road. SR20's pull up premium for race wars. That's what all the noise is down it. Giving it the big one. What's what's going on here? It's a spoon SR20. It's a spoon SR20 and putting him in front of a Civic for some reason. Got no side skirts or anything, mate. Just come back from paint. Well, Just come back from paint. A month ago. Um, we have a lot of updates actually on this car because none of us, including me, have seen it for a while. I've seen it from the pictures you sent me on the old WhatsApp, but apart from that, I haven't seen so many pictures. So let's go through it. Let's go through it and see what, what's happened in this windy weather. Uh, it's disgusting today, by the way. And lifters replaced. So that's all replaced in there. Absolutely Ooh. lovely. Hear that, magical. There's no fan before someone points it out because you you need to bolt that back on. This is just literally, you've literally just got it back. Bonnet, power bulge. Um, a lot of people were a bit like, oh, you get rid of carbon, but I sort of appreciate the red. No, you don't. You like the carbon. I like, I like the carbon. Well, I like the carbon because you had carbon here, but I like the bulge. I love the bulge. Josh loves the bulge. Let's check this out. Come right back. So it's all red now. It does actually look so different. Is it just me or does it look really, really different? Get rid of the leaf, get rid of the leaf mate. Now, obviously, side skirts aren't on as well. It doesn't deserve them until it's running right, which it is running right now. <laughs> so it's gonna be allowed to have inside skirts back. Please leave a comment below, carbon bonnet or big bulge. I think I know the general gist as to what people are gonna be interested in. I think the carbon looks good, but it's nice to mix it up with the red. It's all red now though, I, I appreciate that big time. So painted, painted all this because there was actually lacquer peel up here, wasn't there? Quite a, quite a bit here. It's for all, the for all the haters out there, it's one, it's hopefully, in this image, one oh, yeah. colour. Yeah. And it's got to go down. So this is, don't take this for gospel at the moment. This is just, uh, literally you've picked it up and you've done the lifters and stuff. I just wanted to show this bonnet though. From this angle, very, very different to what we've previously had. I like it. Paint and, if we come around the back. OG people will realise what's going on here. A legitimate droop, full on. Yeah, but Oh, we haven't we haven't shown a droop in ages. Look at it. I like droops. Droop looks good. Um, Numb player looks good as well. I won't say what it means, but you can sort of guess what it means. You're taking the steering wheel off just because that's just for safety measures, obviously. <laughs> for some reason you take. Oh, you take it and put it in the chaser so you can daily drive it with your nice steering wheel. Oh, we'll go, we'll go to that in a minute. I did just walk past it, and the exhaust looks good. You've done well, and it's lowered. Oh, oh it's lowered as well. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, driveway goals, driveway goals. I must admit, mate, the general theme here is that you have body kits for cars and haven't got them on the cars. <laughs> this has just the front bumper. This has zero aero at the moment. Not even a side skirt. What's going on? Win winter, winter. I take my body kit off in the winter. I like that. You've lowered it. Good start. I like that. Looks, looks better lower. Yeah, louder. Let's go around this way. Because we need to talk about this exhaust. It was, if you guys remember, absolutely massive. Now it's absolutely tiny. It's absolutely tiny. As you can see, when we picked it up, it was like, what was it, a five inch? Five and a half inch. Five and a half inch. And now you've got this slash cut moment. Look at that. That's looking banging, mate. What box is on it, or is it just a generic box? Generic box. Generic box, and you've made this bit. Well, I didn't make it, Joe made it. Well, Joe made it, but this bit has been made to your wants and needs. Specifications. Specifications. Talk about aero, what are you doing? What's, what's the plan? Do you even know? 
I want standard stuff still. But... You still want standard stuff? We are going to say a quick shout out to Adam LZ for having a really nice chaser. I'm not jealous. I'm not sure Josh isn't jealous at all. At all. Is that what you want though? Like, who doesn't want more? That, yeah, I know. More power and stance and the BN style kit. Is that what you want? He's got a vertex kit, mate. He's got a vertex kit. <laughs> 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 vertex kit. The same sort of style though or not? Eventually. Eventually. Obviously we're not millionaires over here. No. So, you know, we got a rock. We, yeah, give me a million subscribers, I'll get it done. <laughs> it's looking a lot better, mate. It's dirty. it's dirty and it's the daily driver. But the the other thing is your wheels. That's next. Yeah. Can change the wheels over. Next week when the tires come, we'll get the wheels that you guys may have seen in previous we'll episodes. Get -dub -dub and we'll get scrub a dub dub in. It, I, I again have never seen those wheels on a car, so a, a chaser at least, so that's gonna look rather nice. Last thing, we'll go around this side for this. Is it open? Uh, Let's get the stupid lock on the go. Because as we uh oh, open this, oh look at the seat! How long have you had this? seat in stock? Uh, five years. Five years in the making and now the seat. That was when I was looking for an E46 M3. Yeah, oh good point. Laguna you were looking for a blue, Laguna Seca blue with blue leather on it and it never came up but you bought the seat anyway and at least it's now come to use. Um, status seat, nice and buckety, very like not as tight. It's, it's not as tight but it's, it's really got some bolster on it isn't it? Serious bolster. Um, how has that made the drive of the car any different? Are you more happy with it? Yeah, not sliding about. You don't, you don't slide about because the the blur is what I would have. This is Josh's version. So if Josh can sit in this seat forever, and then I'll just sit in the velour upholstery this side with the back seats and just your velour, you would be happy. I would be happy. I do. Um, like your position of the seat and the steering wheel now as well. That's a very Josh thing. Seat and steering wheel positions, so it's close to you. You're low down. I mean, if from this shot, honestly, the status thing looks like it's lower than the top of the steering wheel. I want it lower. I want it, you want it lower? Yeah. Bow it to the bloody floor, mate. So, anyway, I do like that we've retained the, <laughs> the seat belt and yeah. the armrest because you can't be comfy in your race you car. You can't be in your race car, you? so as you're shifting gears. Peeling one out, you can have your arm on the old armrest at the same time. Peeling two out, sorry. LS, LSD for the win over here. I love that you've still got the uh, legitimate Japanese thingy on it. Also, when you watch it, you can still see the writing on the windscreen. Can you? Oh, reminiscent of days gone past. Lovely. It's a nice little update, though. She's, she's, you're not rushing and you don't rush cars. It's just you have to drive this and you want to make it right. So, lowering it for a bit, getting the kit you want getting the wheels you want with the tyres you want rather than rushing because no one wants to rush. Who's rushing? You rushing, no I'm not rushing. Have you done the wi the, the calipers as well? Yeah. Oh look I at that. Know. Did ya? Yeah. Oh we ain't seen that mate, we ain't seen that. <laughs> Silver yellow brakes fogs. and oh yellow fogs, let's go round. Let's go round, let's go round. You're not sure on them? Maybe. I quite like them. I, I, I'd say they, they work. <laughs> it just it? needs a bit of like a body kit mate. Sure. Just needs like a you know a, a fat BN Sports body kit on it. Buy me one. Buy me one now. No, she is looking rather snaz, mate. How did they sit on a Civic? They look very time attack. Time attack race car. They do work, but I don't think they work on this. But they could work on a Civic. I'd I'd agree with a Civic having these wheels on. But Josh won't have none of that. He wants some aggressive offset, sick, Just not dish, but no, yeah. You're you're so cut up about that, honestly. When I seen the video, I was like, yeah, oh yeah, my S his S15's better and now. His chase is better as well. Oh, how does he feel? He was not happy in the WhatsApp group. I tell ya. So weird without that back bit on it. You guys may have seen in previous videos, it's actually got uh, like a lip on the back bumper. It's not on at the moment because it's just been painted. You do get the sense of thickness if we just go to this position. <laughs> Look how thick. The stance is on the S15. She's got a stance, mate. Serious stance. Right, jumping back in the car, I would like to say a massive thank you to Josh for letting me come around and poke my camera all up in his face. Terribly windy in this video, I know, but it's just, I wanted to get 
that car coming out of the paint booth it's been uh, raised a little bit it's not got much of a body kit on it and stuff but I just wanted to show you guys especially that bonnet I was a bit skeptical when I saw it um, the bulge and the difference in carbon fiber does actually make a huge difference to the car so much difference just by changing the color of the bonnet and I know the carbon weave going from the carbon bonnet into the carbon dashboard was really really cool carbon bonnet very nice it was really scabby and he didn't want to refresh the bonnet so he wanted to change it up my camera was steaming up so bad that I think it's because it's warm in here and freezing cold outside it means that we can follow on this build I know a lot of people have been wondering where Josh has been and where the cars have been the car's been sat in paint for however long he's been working he works all over the world he jet sets all over the world we do make a joke out of it but he genuinely does go pretty much everywhere and when he does come back it's usually at night at 10 o'clock and he wants to fit something to his car and unfortunately i can't be there for that so i will try my hardest to get as much content from these builds as possible and we will see closer to summer hopefully a body kit on the chaser the wheels on the chaser and the s15 with a kit and a little bit lower but he has awesome awesome plans for both of these cars if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you hadn't we have got a new line of stickers on the fydapparel.com website which you need to go and check out i'll put all the information on screen right now but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one